Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is Choose Your Legends Day, um, so we're going to be sparking up to the first spark. And I will be pulling full circles because I think everyone is really, really good in this CYL. And even if I end up getting dupes of people, they've all got really good fodder. Um, so I will be, I will be doing that. I still haven't decided who I will spark for yet, so, um... By the time I reach the spark, I might not actually go for the spark until later, because I'm still not quite sure who I want yet. And I also haven't done my free pick yet, so I'm uh, going to hold on to the spark and the free pick until later. But I will be summoning up to the first spark, so yeah. And I've got some questions from a QA and a in the Discord server, so I'll be doing those as we go through um, the summons. And actually, last year, uh, my CYL luck was insane where I, uh, I got my plus 10 Brave Claude for under 500 orbs. Um, and I was color sniping colorless there, so who knows, maybe I will have some really, really good luck this time too, although I doubt it. Merlinus is always welcome. Um, anyway, we will get started with the Q&A. So, uh, first question is from Kev. Kev asks, who are your free picks for each year of the CYL? Um, so first year... God, I don't remember. I think it was probably Brave Lynn. Uh, second year, I think Veronica. Um, third year, I think I took Alm for the fodder. Uh, for the threaten, Or maybe I took Elliewood. It was either Elliewood or Alm. Uh, fourth year, obviously Claude, because I wanted to plus 10 Brave Claude. Um, and this year I haven't decided yet. So yeah. Um, Nickname asks, why do you love Claude so much? So I've gotten a bunch of questions like this. Every time I do a q and I get a bunch of questions like this. And I'm going to hold off on answering all of these questions because I do have a video actually coming out in the next two weeks about why I love Claude so much. It's basically just a three and a half minute long video about why Claude is my favorite Fire Emblem character. So uh, stay tuned for that video and I will hold off on answering all of these questions for now. Um, CMV asks, if you could get any resplendent, if you could get any artist for any resplendent, which artist, which character, and which realm? Okay, so that's a pretty detailed question, um, and I was kind of thinking about this earlier, so I think, um, kind of have two answers for this. So I think Lucas, I would love to get a resplendent for Lucas, um... So, yeah, that's the character who I would want. I would want him to have a Hell outfit. And I would want the artist to be the same one as the one who drew uh, Resplendent Eldigan. Because I am in love with Resplendent Eldigan's art. One of my favorite Resplendent arts in the entire game. Um, so, yeah. That's what I would want. Uh, and I think other people have asked the same question, so I'll, I'll give my second answer later. Chera Yumi asks, do you play Genshin Impact? What's your opinion on the game? Um, so no, I don't play Genshin Impact. I was going to download it at some point, then I realized that I really don't need another gacha game in my life. This one already takes up enough time, uh, and yes, I do spend some money on this game, so I'm, I have no interest in, uh, while I'm playing this gacha game and starting another one. Um, in terms of my opinion of the game, I don't really have much of an opinion. I've just seen, like, on Twitter, I've seen a ton of fan art of all the characters. And I have to say, I think Kea is probably my favorite character from what I've seen. Uh, Hundley, who is one of my mod besties, asks, What would Golden Deer rule look like if you were able to create it? Um, and also a question from Corgi, who was also one of my mods, was actually right after, and they're very similar. Corgi asks, what is your opinion on second place CYL units getting PRF skills this year? And if you had to design a PRF skill for CYL Claude, what would it be? So I'm going to answer both of these questions kind of like together. So, um, if you guys watched my trailer, or my Faye channel reaction, it's kind of no secret that I was pretty disappointed about the second place, uh, people getting PRF skills. And, like... Don't take this the wrong way. I love the idea of second place winners getting PRF skills as well. I think it should have been done right from the start, though. Um, I don't. I, I think it's unfair to not do it the first four years and then suddenly start doing it in this CYL. I think it is very, very unfair and kind of a slap in the face to previous year's winners. 
Um, so I think they should retroactively go back and do a remix for, uh, you know, for CYL units who didn't get a PRF skill in the past. Because um, I remember last year, I was like, I was actually pretty, like, I under so I was kind of upset that Claude didn't get Golden Deer Rule because I was like, okay, like, they should have made an exception for him because of Edelgard and Dimitri. They both got one. But everyone was like, no, like, there's no way they could do that. Second place winners never get PRF skills. So I was like, okay, I get it. It's fine. Specifically, it's fine because that's just the rule for how CYL has always been. And now all of a sudden, they go ahead and change that. And you can make the argument it's because they weren't expecting Gatekeeper to win and they weren't expecting Marianne to win. So they're like, oh, let's give PRF skills to the Lords. But Claude is a Lord. Roy is a Lord. Uh, Lucina's a Lord, I think. Like, a lot of the people who were second place in previous years are lords and they still didn't get skills right so i think it's i definitely think it's unfair and i think that there should be some kind of way to retroactively go back and do that for everybody or they should have just never given prf skills to these characters uh in the first place so if i could make golden deer rule a uh, prf skill for claude um i would probably give him it's like, it's hard to balance what I want in his weapon refine versus what I want in his B skill, but I guess, let's say, like, give him null follow-up, um, and Kanto 2, I think that would be really, really strong. Even just that. Um, so maybe that. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Madiz slash Nom Noms asks, after seeing how unique they made Gatekeeper's base kit this year, what NPC slash minor character would you like to see win a future CYL first or second position? Um, so I've only actually played uh, Three Houses, so I only know characters from Three Houses. I think it would be pretty cool to um, to have Abyss Keeper get in the game. I don't think Abyss Keeper should win CYL, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of, like, as far as NPCs go, I like Abyss Keeper more than Gatekeeper. Um, so yeah, I think uh, having Abyss Keeper in the game could be really interesting. Because I do think uh, his personality is pretty different from Gatekeeper, so um, I think that's something that could be interesting. Also, we are halfway through and no five stars at all yet. Wonderful. Uh, Gabby, who apparently got Brave Marianne, congrats. Gabby asks, have you been doing well recently? Um, yeah, I've been doing great recently. I just finished up my school for the term two weeks ago, and I've kind of just been chilling since then, doing a lot of YouTube stuff, a lot of collabs, a lot of editing, um, and also just generally just been chilling, uh, spending a lot of time on Twitter, and yeah. Uh, Logan, who is another one of my mods, asks, If you could change up this year's CYL weapons and outfits, what other combos would you like to see? Um, so again, I haven't played anything other than Three Houses, so I can't say too much about anyone other than Gatekeeper and Marianne, but I guess I can kind of tell you what my predictions were based on what I heard other people say. So I heard a lot of people saying um, that Erica would be a staff. I think like with Lara Shell's staff, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I think it was Latona, but feel free to uh, crucify me in the comments if I'm wrong on that. Um, so yeah, I think that could have been interesting, maybe like a staff cav. Um, for Marth, I heard some people saying he should get Starlight Tome, and I don't know what Starlight Tome is, but it sounds really cool, so yeah. Uh, for Gatekeeper, I was honestly expecting him to be like a Lance or an Axe. I definitely wasn't expecting him to be a Tome. Um, and for Marianne, I think Blood Gang would have been cool, but maybe they're saving that for another future alt. Damn. This year's CYL not giving me the same luck that last year's was. Um, so Shion Rose asks, what other games do you play or want to play? Um, so I think my favorite game of all time is probably Undertale slash Deltarune. I cannot wait until the full version of Deltarune comes out so I can play it. Um, I've also, like, I haven't played that many games because my first console was actually the Nintendo Switch, so, uh, and I haven't bought that many games for it, um, but I've also recently been playing, uh, the Attack on Titan game for the Xbox, and once I finish it, basically it's like playing through all of Season 1, um, and I'm probably gonna get the Season 2 game after, um, so yeah, I've been enjoying that, um... I honestly haven't really thought about this question because I just haven't been super into gaming lately other than Faye. Also, what is this luck with my summoning? 
I'm really gonna get up to 4.5% with nothing. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, so let's close that. Uh, let me go uh, quickly send some people home or make combat manuals out of them. All right, we're back for the last 10 summons before the spark, and let's hope I get a little bit lucky in these last 10 summons. Uh, Bad Hacker asks, who do you think is going to be the next legendary and then the next mythic? Um, you know, I haven't really thought about it. I think Micaiah is overdue for a legendary, though. I think Camilla is overdue for a legendary, but she just got an alt, so it probably won't be her. Uh, maybe Xander as well. Um, next mythic? I don't know what color they're supposed to be, but I think they might stick with OCs for a little while. Uh, sorry, not with OCs. With with uh, mythic heroes from other games. Maybe they'll do another Crusader. Um, not really sure, but I don't think they're going to go back into OCs just yet. I think they're going to do maybe one or two more non-OC mythics. Uh, Solar asks, in your opinion, who is the best Gale Forcer, far save tank, near save tank, and solo carry in the game? Um, that is a really, really great question. Um, in terms of Gale Forcer, I don't use Gale Force myself, so I haven't really thought about it. Uh, but I would have to say, if there is a cavalry unit who fits the bill of having a slaying weapon and having null follow up, um, I'm not sure if there's anyone like that in this game, but I think they would probably be uh, the best Gale Forcer. In terms of far save tank, uh, assuming plus 10 max investment, I don't really think it's Brave Hector, um, to be honest, because I think Brave Hector suffers from the, 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 the windsweep uh, weakness. So maybe like some kind of uh, mage armor? who, if you can support them with New Year's Valuria, I think they might, like, win that title. Um, Alright, last five summons. Will we get anybody? <laughs> uh, best near save tank? Probably... Um, maybe Gustav? Did I say Gustav? Yeah. Probably either... Well, Gustav's green, so maybe not that good. Uh, probably the new pirate Surter and Brave Hector would probably be my number one picks for best near save tank in the meta right now. Um, as for best solo carry, I don't really know. I haven't really thought about that much. Uh, I used to think that was like Brave Claude, but it's definitely not anymore. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Man, what is my luck? Um, I mean, thanks, I guess. <laughs> this is like my fifth Lysithia. I have literally, I literally have three combat manuals of Lysithia sitting around. <sighs> well, I mean, at least she's got really good fodder. And at least uh, she doesn't fully reset my pity rate, so I'm going to have to go back in on this banner unless I get someone right now. Okay. Probably the one I wanted the least, but it's something. And maybe that last one will be Erica? Minus speed is totally wonderful. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> if this is Erica, that would make my two- my spark and my free pick super- no, it is not Erica. Okay, well... That is really unfortunate because, um... Marth is the one I wanted the least, so I was hoping that I would get one of the other three and then essentially be able to spark one of them and free summon the other one. Um, so I'm gonna have to give up on one of those, uh, on Erica or... No, I think I, I think I have to take Erica. I mean, I haven't decided yet, and I wish they let you save your spark for later. Um, but I will probably... I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I'm not sure how good Gatekeeper is, and... I'm not sure how good Marianne is. Because I already have Legendary Claude, and I understand that the dance is, like, supposed to be really good. But, like, with three cooldown, I guess it's two cooldown because of Time's Pulse. Guard really just shuts that down. I don't think I'll be going for Marianne. I will probably be going for Erica um, and Gatekeeper. And Erica specifically because I feel like I really have to get her because I'm a huge fan of the art 
uh, and the concept for this unit. I just love how she looks. So, uh, and I, I also think having inbuilt Kanto is extremely strong. So, um, yeah. Okay, so that was it for the summoning session. At least I got those two five stars there at the end. Could have been worse. Um, and yeah, I won't be taking my free five star summons yet. I'll still think about it a bit more, but probably will be Erica and Gatekeeper. Um, yeah, so sorry to those of you whose questions I didn't get to. I will save these for a future Q&A. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how your Choose Your Legend summons went. Hopefully they were a bit luckier than mine. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with more Aether Raids. Um, so yeah, that's all. Bye.